on the In a newsroom, the collection of old notes and stories is called a morgue. And we'll be digging through our morgue for stories that start with a bump in the night. Before we get to this afternoon's tale, though, we want to share a recent study that found that Maine is America's second most haunted state. A company called Bonus Finder carried out the research, figuring out the number of cemeteries, the number of ghost sightings, number of haunted locations, and the number of paranormal investigators. Maine scored nine out of 10, second only to Texas, where everything is bigger. Researchers relied on websites called Find a Grave, Ghosts of America, and Ghost Quest, the least haunted state by these metrics, by the way, New Jersey. There you go. Regardless of whether people are actually being haunted, they are certainly experiencing something. So why do we think it is ghosts or spirits trying to connect with us from beyond the grave? 30 years ago, our Dave Allers explored what it is about the supernatural that draws us in. An old castle on a stormy night, ghosts roaming the halls, a house where a poltergeist runs amok. A headless horseman in search of a new head. They are the kinds of stories we have all heard. Stories of spirits among us. They are an invasion into the everyday world of something that is not everyday. Ghost stories are part of our heritage. Folklore born on the frontier in places like logging camps and settlements. I think you can take that, uh, that, that single belief that there is a separable, something that is not part of the body and that that continues to exist and the minute you accept that idea the idea if you will of a soul uh, you've got the groundwork for for ghosts it's a foundation deeper than civilization in north america most religious manuscripts whether it's the bible or other sources talk about good spirits and evil spirits so the, the concept of there being spirits is something that's part of everyday life for most people, and yet there seems to be this part reserved for supernatural or ghosts. Our belief in ghosts and the supernatural is one of the reasons why we're afraid to walk through a cemetery at dusk, why we cringe at things that go bump in the night. They are stories that affect even the most thick-skinned. Harold Burrell worked at Mount Hope Cemetery for 40 years. He's used to dealing with death, but there was one night. Uh, one rainy night, the wind was blowing, and the oh, hey. in the room, in the uh, in this chapel at that time, we had two bodies waiting to be cremated. And with that wind and everything, it actually got to me, and I broke right out in a cold sweat, and I couldn't wait to get out of this place. Ghost stories aren't just tall tales. Sometimes they are someone's experience. Uh, something that, that is different from everyday experiences and touches on something that they don't have the ability to describe in, in the terms that they would normally describe everyday life. Mm -hmm. Something extraordinary or supernatural. As long as there are people, they will tell stories of life, love, death, and ghosts, a bit of folklore to leave behind. That was Dave Allers from 1993. I think we all have moments where the hair stands up. Definitely. Like, mm, something's off. Definitely. Can't identify it. You feel something, right? Yes.